We have some really, really exciting cruise news for you today. We have a story from Holland America. We have a story from Carnival Cruise Lines. I got a story from Norwegian Cruise Lines. I got a story from Royal Caribbean. And I've got a huge update from the CDC, one that we have all been waiting for. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. Before we get started, if you would do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so, helps our channel grow and allows us to continue bringing content just like we're about to bring you today. We're going to start with Holland America. Now they have stated that all guests will be assigned a specific boarding time for them to arrive to the terminal and board the ship. Now, of course, this is simply designed to control the number of individuals that are in the terminal for the purposes of social distancing when they are in the terminal and getting on the gangway. Now, Norwegian Cruise Lines has released further details on its phased resumption of cruising coming in the fall here of 2021. I'm going to go ahead and put that up here on the screen now. So they announced their plan for return to cruising in the United States with sailings in Alaska starting on August the 7th, 2021, contingent on CDC authorization. Newly announced expected redeployment plans include the following, the Norwegian Joy from Miami beginning October the 19th, the Norwegian Breakaway to the Bahamas from New York beginning October the 24th, the Pride of America going to Hawaii, the Norwegian Bliss from Los Angeles to the Mexican Riviera. Norwegian Encore from Miami to the Caribbean. Norwegian Escape will go from Port Canaveral to the Caribbean beginning November 20th. The Norwegian Pearl will offer Panama Canal, Bahamas, and Caribbean cruises from Miami beginning December the 23rd. The Norwegian Jewel will do Panama Canal cruises from Panama City and New York beginning January 20th of 2022. The Norwegian Sun in Japan and the Norwegian Spirit in Australia, both in 2022. Now, certain sailings outside of these newly announced voyages have been canceled. They say impacted guests on voyages that will not operate have been notified accordingly. As far as Norwegian and their issues with Florida and the vaccine and wanting to sail 100% vaccinated, this is all Norwegian has currently released. They do have some sailings from Florida on here. What their intentions are with those sailings, though, they have not said yet. Now, Carnival Cruise Lines has released the protocols for their Alaskan-only sailing. I'm going to go ahead and put that up here on the screen as well. And it does state that Alaska cruises are available only for guests who have received their final dose of approved COVID-19 vaccine at least 14 days prior to the beginning of the cruise and have proof of vaccination. And we already know that so far, all cruises to Alaska are going to be vaccination only cruises, but it does list their protocols here. So all guests, including children who are age eligible for vaccines need to show proof. This means that regrettably, guests who are not vaccinated, including children who are not yet eligible for a vaccine will not be permitted to sail. Okay, all guests will be asked to confirm their status as fully vaccinated during the check-in and provide proof of vaccination in advance of boarding. It is important for guests to come prepared as those who arrive at the embarkation terminal without the proper proof of vaccination will not be able to cruise and no refund will be issued. Face masks for all forms of transportation are still required by the CDC. However, protocols are evolving and as changes are announced, we will share that information as soon as possible. And while guests will be vaccinated, we will follow protocols and requirements for each destination while ashore in Alaska. Remember, these restrictions are under the control of local government and are subject to change without advance notice. So we encourage guests to come prepared for potential mask requirements while ashore. And of course, please note these guidelines are subject to change. And if you've been following any of the cruising news recently, you know this is changing almost daily, it seems like. So another big piece of cruise news this week is Royal Caribbean has been approved for a test sailing aboard the Freedom of the Seas. Departing from Miami 
on June the 20th. Have not heard any other information yet, whether they're going to be asking for volunteers, using crew members, or if they've already reached out to some individuals who applied for test sailings, perhaps that's going to be coming, but nothing has been said about that yet. And last, but not least, and definitely the biggest story of the day, in my opinion, is the CDC has updated the operations manual for simulated and restricted voyages under the conditional framework for sailing again yesterday on May the 26th. I'm going to go ahead and put up the first one here. And under here, under May 26, 2021, we have provided cruise ship operators with more discretion regarding fully vaccinated travelers, provided additional discretionary considerations for ships, with at least 95% of the crew and 95% of the passengers fully vaccinated. So these changes are only going to apply to fully vaccinated cruises. So for an example, right now, the Alaska cruises, some of these changes that the CDC has authorized, you could see implemented on those cruises. Now I'm going to save the biggest one for last because it is the one that I like the most I think it is the one that some of my vaccinated passengers are going to absolutely love the most. So we'll get to that one last, but what we are going to do is start here with physical distancing. So cruise ship operators at their discretion may designate areas only accessible to fully vaccinated passengers and crew where masks and physical distancing are not required, such as casinos, bars, spas, entertainment venues, dining areas, including self-service buffets. Now this is for ships with at least 95% of crew and 95% of passengers fully vaccinated. And the following requirements become recommendations only. So now the requirements were already there in the conditional sale order and in this outline previously, but now for those that are on fully vaccinated cruises, with the 95, this says 95, 95, but it's supposed to be 95, 98, because that's what it does say in other locations. I think this particular one is just a slight little typo, but it does mean now that the cruise lines have the discretion to alter the physical distancing requirements is because now they are recommendations only. The same disclaimer is also here under food services. So some of the requirements that the CDC had put on the cruise ships be now become recommendations only for fully vaccinated cruises. So we may not have to remain six feet apart. Limited seating could go away. The elimination of self-service food and drinks options such as self-service buffets, salad bars, and beverage stations could also go away based on the discretion of the cruise line now. And now for the big one, my favorite one here. This is going to be under mask use and there are several new items under mask use here under fully vaccinated travelers. Cruise ship operators at their discretion may advise passengers and crew that if they are fully vaccinated, they may gather or conduct activities outdoors, including engaging in extended meal service or beverage consumption without wearing a mask. Now that one was already there previously. Cruise ship operators at their discretion may advise crew who are fully vaccinated that they do not have to wear a mask or maintain physical distance in areas of the ship that are inaccessible to passengers. Cruise ship operators at their discretion may designate areas as only accessible to fully vaccinated passengers and crew where masks and physical distancing are not required. And this is the same statement we saw under food services and under social distancing. And the last one here, this is the one that we have all been waiting to hear about. And this is four ships with at least 95% of the crew and 95% of the passengers fully vaccinated. Cruise ship operators at their discretion may advise passengers and crew that they do not have to wear a mask or maintain physical distance in any areas. That's indoors, that's outdoors, that's in the hallway, in the dining rooms, in the casinos, in the theaters, any place. So the cruise ships will have the discretion 
to completely eliminate the mask policy, provided that the cruise ship is 95% vaccinated passenger and 95% vaccinated crew per the new CDC update. And this is the one that a lot of people have been wondering that if you were going to be fully vaccinated, would you have to wear the mask? And now the CDC has essentially put out that it's going to be up to the cruise lines to decide that it's no longer going to be mandated. This is going to bring up a few questions, I'm sure. Based on what we are reading here, if it is a mixed ship, meaning there are vaccinated and unvaccinated below the 95% level, this will not apply. This is only for basically fully vaccinated ships. So right now, I would say the only cruises that this currently is going to apply to are the ones leaving for, from Seattle to Alaska as other cruise lines announce whether they're going to be fully vaccinated or not going to be fully vaccinated will then determine whether or not this applies to them or not. So that is the big update from the CDC today. And like I said, it was one I was personally waiting for. I did want to know that if I go on an Alaska cruise or a fully vaccinated cruise, am I going to have to wear the mask? Not on the ship. At least the cruise line has the option to say not on the ship. Now, which cruise lines are going to go with this and which ones are not? Nothing has been announced yet. This update from the CDC has just come out on the 26th, so yesterday. As soon as we hear any additional information, we will get it out to you as soon as possible. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed today's video. It has definitely had a lot of information in it, a lot of changes. And like I said, the cruise news is changing every single day. There's always something different. And who knows what tomorrow and the day after can bring for us. All right, well, y'all have yourselves a great day. And we will see you out on the high seas.